hello everyone so let's talk about one more example and try to lay out our page okay so i have just uh, dummy html text it is kind of a same we have header then nav then we have sidebar and we have sections and we have footer so let's try to design this new bar little differently so header is fine that uh, we are having so i can use or use some part of the old css okay I'm just reusing what we had earlier so that will be clear. So this is my header. Now I can just style this uh, ULLI little different way. So I have this new bar. Okay, in the new bar what I will just see is text align center. Okay, now text align center. Now these new ULLIs can be displayed horizontally. You can see the inline so that that is a display property inline. So we have a new, then we have a UL, then we have LI okay so this style will be applied to new ulli because we have i think the nesting of new ulli that is correct and what we can do is a display this display property inline will decide a lot of things like now my uh, uh, property is inline right and what i can do is display list style type also there list style type is none it it's just a horizontal link and Padding, I can just say 10 pixels. So all these will be splitted, not uh, adjacent to one another. And we can just say font size. And you can also use font weight, which can be bold. Okay, now we have this nice looking, you can say the links, right? Here I will just reduce the text of heading. We don't want that much header and here we have the 15 pixel background yeah now we just uh, initialize this particular name ulli now you can just create these sections now what we have is after name we have article section so we just need to customize these articles article and header so article can be a simple you can just put some background uh, border dotted or dashed so this is our first article right similarly uh, we have sections different sections so we can just put a margin for each and every section uh, so i can just directly use it because these are the clean css now you can see every section here will have a margin from the top okay margin padding and you can see margin top is uh, 20 pixel so every section will be splitted and these are the bordered so just a basic layout now what we had is just a header some kind of a, you can use an image on the header which can be a background image so here we are seeing a header right so you can also use a background url background image where you can specify the url of the image okay uh, we'll try to find some image then background uh, image position center all these things you can specify here in a single position background repeat uh, you can see no repeat because i have only one single header image background size which will be cover everything i mean it should cover the whole background okay now we can look for some background image let me just take a look so we can use that image here and we can just uh, attach that image so we can just uh, find any uh, url of the image let me just try to find it out so that image we can just display out here so this is how you can just put a background overlay image okay on your website like if i wanted to use some blog image okay you see now it's look cool now you have a header with the background image, position center, no repeat, background size cover and all these things. And now you can just remove the heading because now the text is not required, the image is talking uh, 100 words, right? Now you can also put a minimum height for this particular header because now we have this thing, 300 pixel. This looks cool now, cool now, right? So this is how you can customize your layouts and you can add a number of stylings, okay? Thanks everyone.